Hey everybody, and today I'm going to be doing another one of my Expanded Universe Doctor Who videos. Now this could become a 100 episode series easily with the amount of Expanded stuff that is out there, but today I'm going to be talking about something that's almost completely separate to Doctor Who itself. I only found out about these sets of stories when I was doing research for the previous video. Now during my previous video you may remember me mentioning a group of people called Faction Paradox. What I didn't realise when I was making that video is that there's an entire series of novels and audios and even comics based entirely upon these characters. Now, like me, you're probably sitting there thinking, who the hell are Faction Paradox? Well, according to the Doc 2 wiki page, they are described as a time-active cult who oppose the Time Lords as well as their philosophy on time travel. Now, these characters are a product of the Doctor Who 8 Doctor Adventure books, as many things I will talk about in this series are, originally appearing in the novel Alien Bodies. Now, the story of how this came to be its own series is that the writer Lawrence Miles had wrote the initial story Alien Bodies, and it was very well received. After his characters in Faction Paradox were being used for another story, Unnatural History, he decided to write yet another novel with them in. A two-part novel called Interference, not Interface. Now, despite the success of this novel, Miles decided that he no longer wanted to write for the Doctor Who novels, and went about making his own Faction Paradox series. He was legally allowed to do this because he owned the rights to the characters. Now, alongside the novel series that he'd been planning, in 2000, a company called BBV, infamous for making Doctor Who light content, decided to make a series of Faction Paradox audios called the Faction Paradox Protocols. But the true birth of the novels of Faction Paradox came in 2002 after an unofficial Doctor Who book came out called The Book of War. After the success of that, a company called Mad Norwegian Press commissioned a series of Faction Paradox novels, which kept going for many years, with the final official novel coming out in 2017 entitled Spinning Jenny. Though, as recently as 2019, there have been short stories relating to the property. Now, we've got two minutes into the video, and I still haven't talked about any of the characters or any of the stories themselves. Now, there is a reason for that, because I am doing this research as I go along. But as far as I can tell, all of this takes place within the War in Heaven timeline, and each story is written about a different point in that timeline, with each story being written by a contributor from the Book of War. And they did a timey-wimey thing with these books, because every single book regressed through time. So the first book was the end of the story, and then it kept going back every single time and there would be hints that the events of that particular book would be caused by what happened in the book you read before that. Does that make sense? Not for me either! Amongst several original releases in this run, there was a republishing of one of the Virgin Adventures, called Dead Romance. Around this time, Mad Norwegian also commissioned some comic books to be made of the, of the stories. The opening comic of that line received a lot of praise at the time, and even caught the attention of Warner Brothers, as Warner Brothers wanted to turn the property into a film series. Now unfortunately talks didn't get very far with this, and the project was abandoned, but it is interesting to see that there was that much interest in a side project that came from Doctor Who. Unfortunately in 2004, BBV stopped making audio productions and thus the Faction Paradox audios ceased for a very brief time. Luckily not too soon after this, Magic Bullet Productions was able to pick up the license and continue making audios under a new series called The True History of Faction Paradox. Now this series lasted from 2005 until 2009 and consisted of six stories that I will put on screen now. The Mad Norwegian Press series would continue until 2006 citing reasons of the actual Doc 2 TV series coming back as the reason for the loss in interest in the series, the publishers no longer wished to produce the books. Luckily they weren't off the shelves for very long as random static out of New Zealand were able to pick up the license. 
Under this publisher, there was only one novel in this line, which was Newton's Sleep. After a lot of issues with getting books out, they were only able to get the one book out under that publisher, and in 2010, they had been moved again. In 2010, Obverse Books had announced that they had acquired the license. Now, this publication was a much more fruitful relationship, as we were able to release many short story anthologies, as well as new novels, and even spin-off stories. This series was called The City of the Saved. So now we have a spin-off of a spin-off, which came from what was sort of a spin-off of Doctor Who anyway. Are you keeping up? I'm finding it difficult too. Anyway, ever since 2015 they've given steady releases of either actual novels, spin-offs, short stories or anthologies. With Spinning Jenny being the most recent novel, and Vanishing Tales of the City being the most recent publication of any kind. So first and foremost, how can you find all of this? Some of the Faction Paradox books are on Amazon and the rest are on Obverse Books. Here are the links to them both, I'll put them in the description. As for the Doc 2 Adventures link to this, both of these are shown on screen now. I hope you find them on eBay, that's probably your best bet. Now this series is a little bit of a testament to Lawrence Miles as he was able to make a concept within the Doc 2 universe work outside and independent of the Doc 2 universe and it's lasted over 20 years. I think no matter what you think about that should be celebrated. And the fact that this is the first time that I've heard about this is surprising to me, but I'm glad I've heard of it. I may well try and pick up some of these books now. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of this video. Stay subscribed, and hopefully I'll be bringing some more out there Doc 2 type content soon.